small business owners in Cook County who are people of color and those with disabilities, women, veterans, and LGBTQ members can now get a financial boost. Our Gaynor Hall is live at Halston and Maxwell to explain more on the Source Grow Grant Program. Gaynor. Yeah, Pat and Dina, good afternoon to you. Cook County officials say this could be a life-changing opportunity for small business owners who were devastated during the pandemic. Small businesses is what keep America going. At Lalo's on Maxwell this morning, Cook County officials announcing the $71 million Source Grow Grant program to help small businesses thrive. Grow grants will help to close racial wealth and opportunity gaps by infusing small businesses with the necessary capital to scale their operations. Along with the $10,000 grants, business owners will also get one-on-one -on -one advising. The program is targeting sectors hard hit during the pandemic, like hospitality and food service, retail, child care, and social assistance, and prioritizing applicants from underrepresented groups Groups, including entrepreneurs of color, women, veterans, members of the LGBTQ community, and people with disabilities. So we are really working towards that goal to ensure that black and brown and women and immigrant uh, business owners really have what they need to be able to survive the devastation that we've gone through. I know $10,000 grants like this will be a game changer for our, our small businesses. The program is funded with dollars from the American Rescue Plan and county officials say it will help fill the ongoing critical need connecting small business owners to capital. This is an exciting opportunity opportunity, not just to touch lives, but also to advance equity and grow the regional economy. So applications for the first round will open on Monday. You can apply throughout the month of October, and those businesses should be notified early next year if they receive the grants. Reporting live from University Village, Gaynor Hall, WGN News. All right, Gaynor, thank you.